The Island of Kauai This is the smallest and oldest of the main Hawaiian islands. Like all of the Hawaiian islands, Kauai is home to a large variety of invasive birds. Perhaps the most conspicuous of these introduced birds are the feral chickens. According to locals I met, there had always been a few chickens roaming the island. Then, in 1992, the island was hit by a massive hurricane, Hurricane Inki. Like the movie that was being filmed on the island, Jurassic Park, the birds escaped into the wild, and now they are everywhere. You can find them at Hoipu Beach Park, Hanalei, downtown Lahui, and even wilder places like Waimea Canyon and Koke State Park. Most of the other non-native birds can also be seen around human habitation. In Poipu, a great variety of non-native birds can be seen around the resorts. Japanese white-eyes, white-rumped shamas, red-headed cardinals. There are also some native water birds, like this Pacific Golden Plover. Another site I liked was the Kauai Coffee Company grounds, where I saw some more white eyes, cattle egrets, and my only sighting of the melodious laughing thrush. Deeper in the interior of the island, you can see non-native birds in a jungle setting. The Kiahua Arboretum was one of my favorite sites, home to many of the same birds, but in a beautiful forest and a grove of rainbow eucalyptus trees. The island has a lot of native water and seabirds. Around many of the island's waterfalls, you can see white-tailed tropic birds. These seabirds nest on cliffs away from the coasts. Up on the north shore, there are two must-go places, Kilauea Point and Hanalei. Hanalei is a small town built near the taro fields. Introduced cattle egrets are common, however, native birds like the Hawaiian duck, Hawaiian moorhen, and the black-crowned night heron can be seen near the water. This is also one of the places you may see the state bird of Hawaii, the Nene Goose. They are fairly common on Kauai, as it is the only island not to have mongoose released on it. These mammals famously nearly wipe the geese out. If you miss them in Hanalei, Kilauea Point National Wildlife Refuge is the place to go. A couple pairs wander around, and you can get incredibly close to them. The wildlife refuge is also a must because of its huge colonies of seabirds. Red-footed boobies nest on the cliff faces and fly overhead, and the occasional brown booby flies over as well. Both the white-tailed and red-tailed tropic birds fly around the point. The white-tailed are heading inland, while the red-tailed nest on the cliff faces. Lace and albatross nest in the surrounding hills, and wedge-tailed shearwaters are in the bushes around the path. Flying above the point, great frigate birds soar, looking to steal food from the other seabirds. Like the Big Island, Kauai's native forest birds are found at altitude in the island's interior. Kauai's native birds are far rarer than those on the Big Island, as Kauai is not as high in altitude. Native Hawaiian forest birds are highly susceptible to diseases spread by mosquitoes, like avian malaria. These mosquitoes cannot survive in the cooler temperatures on the island's mountains. The only way to access their habitat is to drive up Waimea Canyon, the Grand Canyon of the Pacific, to reach Kokei State Park. The best place is the Thea Trail. I saw both the Apapane and Kauai Elapeo along the trail. You may see some of the other native birds as well, like the Anianu. Sadly, the EEV populations have been crashing on the island in recent years. The island also has three even rarer birds. The Akikiki, which is a creeper-like bird, the Akekae, which is related to the Hawaiian Kepa, and the Puaiohi, which is the only other existing Hawaiian endemic thrush besides the Big Island's Omaho. The best place to see these rare birds is along the Mohihi Wolahi Trail. This rough trail leads you to the depths of the Alakai Swamp, the highest and most remote part of the island. Seeing the truly rare birds is hard, and you may not see them. However, you can get very close to Kauai Alapeo, and it is an interesting area to visit. Reaching the trail is hard. You have to take a very rough jungle road to the trailhead. You would never want to take a rental car up this road. It is also very easy to get lost in the area. Fortunately, there are a variety of guides you can hire to take you up here. I hope you enjoyed this birding video on where to go in Kauai. Thank you for watching and good luck on seeing the birds.